Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. For today's short meditation, let us meditate on the Gospel of Matthew chapter 10 and verse number 33. But whoever denies me before men, I will deny him before my Father who is in heaven. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Holy Spirit, grant that we may learn, read, and hear from your word, and even eat thy holy food, that we may be spiritually nourished and lead a spiritually healthy life. Therefore, Holy Spirit, rest upon us. Holy Spirit, guide us. Holy Spirit, possess us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The Bible says that God found Noah as righteous and blameless. Well, with this we understand the world looked at him as someone different from them, meaning they did not find any flaw that was found in them and that could hardly be seen in Noah's life. People did not make any comment on him. But the moment when Noah heard from God, and started to obey God's instructions and acted according to the word of God, we look at the life of Noah before he walking with the Lord. The world had no issues with him and the world also knew that he was righteous. People did not even make any comment. But the moment when they noticed that Noah was walking with the Lord and Noah started to hear from God and obey God's instructions, that is where issues started to creep. People started to give him names, even started to mock him, even made comments that were so critical. Well, it was so strange that people, though they knew that Noah started to walk with God, yet they started to prove Noah wrong. They even proved by their lifestyle that God never existed. In fact, the world did not want to believe that God existed. Despite all these challenges, Noah obeyed God, yet he lived a life blameless. See, most of our friends, they understand we Christians as partying people. And Christians are the people who party the most. And when we invite friends, most of our friends, they understand partying is for drinking and for feasting. They like Christians as long as we party. But the moment we start preaching the word of the Lord, when we start to preach about Jesus, they dislike us. See, we too can present a very holy way of living in the eyes of the world. We can be a goody-goody person, going to church, praying, show people that we are holy. Well, we can live that kind of a life. But true Christians are the ones who read and obey the word of God and they spread the love of Jesus through their actions. We look at the life of Noah. Through his actions, he was telling the world God existed. Well. This is what most of the Christians avoid. They do not want people to oppose them. They don't want any opponents. They want their friends to be as good friends. They don't want to miss friends. Because if they share the gospel, they are missing that friend. Dear friends, we are here to share about the living God, about the Jesus who is the only God who died for our sins, to save us from sins and to save us from the fires of hell and make a way or pave the way to heaven. If we deny to tell about this to our friends, we are denying Jesus. Ephesians 4.1 says, Lead a life worthy of the calling you have received. Which means, if you have received the calling, you will never deny Jesus. On the contrary, you will share the gospel to the people. You will be grateful for the salvation. And dear friends, if there are oppositions, then remember God is on your side. God bless you. Have a great day in Jesus' name. Amen.